we just don't have the the fight or the passion to to do what we want to do. I, I'm a little biased because I'm his father, but I think we have the best quarterback in the country. Um, I don't think any other quarterback could put up with or stand and deliver like I always do, week in and week out, and and, and taking the beating that he's taking. And then we got to address that. We got to address that um, scheme wise. We got to address that uh, functionally with what we have um, on the line, and we we just got to do a better job. We really do. Coach, you mentioned the, the coaching aspect of it as well. Yes, sir. Specifically with the offensive line. I mean, what has to improve in that aspect besides from the line? The line has to improve. It ain't no aspect. The line has to improve. Coach, we've talked about run-pass balance a lot. Yeah. I think it was up until that last drive, you had maybe seven carries with running backs, you had like 34 passes. Yeah. How, how much is, is it, of that is a struggle for you guys right now? Just well, it's a struggle to run the ball. It's a struggle to run the ball. And uh, we we got to figure out, figure that out because now you're, you're one-dimensional and it's easy to stop a team when they're one-dimensional and that's who we are at this point in time. Could follow up on that, could being able to commit to that, you talked about wanting commit to, to what? Running the ball. Could, could that help? I, I think we committed to it on, on a first down, and we was second and fifteen. Right. Those are the type of things you don't want to do and get behind the eight ball. First downs are so vital. First downs are everything. I mean, first downs are when we held them um, statistically on first downs, it, it was hard for them to move the ball as well. And uh, when we're get negative yards on first down, that a tremendous loss. Because now you know you're going to throw the ball on second down, and they're they're calling their defenses pertaining to that loss. I just asked that in terms of the big picture, trying to keep Shadur upright, healthy. Overall the big picture, you go get new linemen. That's the picture, and I'm gonna paint it perfectly. Travis is Travis. I keep telling you that he's the one kid. Not the one. She's, it's multiple kids. I don't concern myself about their play and their attitude. Travis is going to bounce back. I knew he was going to bounce back. You know, he was coming off an injury, and he was taking the offensive side of the ball a, a lot more serious than he was taking the defensive side of the ball when he first came back. And he just had to, you know, reset because he, he didn't go home on the break. He stayed, worked out, trained, and, and got his feet up under him and, and, and watched film intently and uh, studied the little things. So he was prepared and ready today. And he gave you a Travis Hunter performance. Ariel's up. Four games left. How do you? Ariel's up. Regardless of whether or not you uh, agree with the call or not, what did you say to Shiloh when you were walking off? What was going on? That uh, he, he guys that keep it low. Just keep it low. If you keep it low, it's, it's no question. I, I believe that he was not in fault because he turned his shoulder all the way around. He always does. He knows how to hit. Um, and I told him uh, I'm proud of it. He was having a heck of a game. He was being dominant on the defensive side of the ball. And I'm, I'm as proud of him. You know, I'm sorry this transpired, but I'm proud of his effort. I don't I don't ask my kids to be the best on the field. I ask them to give their best. And uh, he gave us their his best. Coach, you talked about growing your talent and building this program. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of uh, great talent in Los Angeles, a hotbed of talent. There's a lot of hotbed of talent everywhere. But how much are you paying attention to this area? I pay attention to all areas. I pay attention to all kids. I don't just target one area, although I love Florida. Y'all know that. I'm from Florida, and I like Florida dogs because that's where I come from. But um, it's hotbeds everywhere. But, I mean, you, you have uh, a plethora of people, teams uh, looking and seeking those kids as well. You know, everybody knows we ain't hard to find. Yes, sir, you, you're next. Well, which sugar is, is it being somewhere specific, or is it you know, kind of all around? I don't know. He's hurting. He's hurting everywhere. Trust me. Four games left, trying to get bowl eligible. What's the message? Say that is? again. With four games left, trying to get bowl eligible, two more wins. I don't give a damn about no bowl. We're trying to win, period. Like, that's not – we're not saying, oh, we got to go to bowl. We're trying to win. We're trying to win, period. And I think uh, we proved that. Um, first half, the second half, I know we came back and gave it up explosions as soon as the second half commenced. But the young men played a heck of a game. They they really did. They they played the bus off like – a lot of the mistakes we made, we know we, we can do better than that. And we, um, they forced them, but we made tremendous mistakes uh, defensively. I'm not going to talk about the offense. We made tremendous mistakes defensively that enabled them to do what they did. But overall, I, I think there was an improvement. Uh, what were we penalties-wise? How many penalties? 
Seven for 60. It's a, it's a tremendous improvement from last game. I mean, we harped on that all week long, so I think we made tremendous strides in that aspect. Okay, two more. Go ahead. Thank you. Well, real quickly, after he was a Colorado State game, you said there were a lot of people – we're happy that this was happening. I think there's yeah. more people that are happy that you're winning and you're succeeding. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Question, tactical question. Mm -hmm. When you pulled it within 13 at the end of the game, mm -hmm. is there any reason why you didn't go for two to come within 11? It, it, well, you don't really go for two until you have to. So it wasn't – it was a field goal and a point out, uh, two points. Yeah, once you get to that – like sure. when you get to that point, you do what you have to do. But until you get to that, you don't – you don't take those chances at, at all, whatsoever. Hey, Coach Brian. Yes, sir. You always talk about improving the program. You yes, sir. About the mistakes. What are the differences when you versus coaching versus teaching these young men? At what, at what point? Do you well, well, we're always coaching and we're always teaching. I mean, that's 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 what we do. And uh, every game teaches a tremendous lesson. Every day of life teaches a tremendous lesson. So, I think they're learning um, at a fast pace because. Unlike many other uh, first-year coach-led teams, there's a tremendous expectation for us, and we would love to meet those expectations. I, I, I think we were close. We were close. I mean, we did some wonderful things. You could see what we have and what we're building, and you could see the need. So just like recruits, you don't think they're watching TV and they see the needs that we have? It's, 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 it's very easy to understand this is what we need and this is the type of quarterback that we have. So I'm, I'm happy with uh, what I see for the future. I really am. I, I know we got a butt's kick we lost today, but I'm happy with what I see in the future because you can see how close we are uh, to being what we desire to be. No, no, no. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Yes, sir. Coach, um, I'm sorry. You're my man. I, I love this guy. He does a <laughs> heck of a job. No, I'm dead serious. You do a heck of a job every week, man. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you. Curtis is the best. Um, yeah. Your offensive line, again, we've talked about how poorly they played today in the offense in general. What can be done at this point of the season formation wise? Playing with six linemen, two backs. Is there anything formationally <laughs> you guys can add at this point of the season? Or well, what it is? we all say what could have, should have, and would have been. We do. But you know there's a defense over there that's studying and preparing for us each week. And uh, they have these type of weapons. you got to still understand we we played against one of the best defenses in the Pac-12 uh, and in the country today. And uh, we came out and went right down the field, and we didn't get six. We got three, and we came back and got another three. So we, we showed some things that we could do, the consistency that – just isn't there at this point because of the lack of uh, talent at certain positions. Yes, ma'am. Uh, can you just talk about just how well Shadir's been doing as a quarterback? Well, I can't sit up here and elaborate on how well. Statistically, you can see how well he's doing. I, I, I don't know who else, you know, that they have in these hires and how he's been balancing or running that takes the abuse that he takes and get back up. I don't know if any of these guys could stand and deliver every week like he does with the same um, stress, the same stress that he delivers from. So I'm proud of him, uh, not just as a father, but as a coach. I'm proud of uh, his strides and what he's doing and what he's seeing. For, for Travis? Probably the conditioning part, but Travis never tires. The conditioning part and the physicality of it. Look at had a positive tonight. Mm -hmm. You guys had not been forcing turnovers the last two games. You got right. more of them tonight. Um, how big was that step for this defense to start doing some of those things? Again? Well, it's tremendous. You got to understand. I'm, you know, somebody said I'm, I'm not as critical as as. Uh, Coach Kelly, because I hear the calls going in, and I know what the guy's supposed to do. You know, and I, and I know when he makes a call. That guy's supposed to do that, and sometimes that does not happen. I'm tremendously uh, ecstatic about what we accomplished in the turnover aspect of everything, but we still made little mistakes. We harped on first down, shot down. First down, they take a shot. We did talked about that all week. We even showed them a consistency of plays that we've given up 
on first downs, explosion, 20 yards or more. And it was a multitude of them that happened on first downs. And I'd be darned, we'd come out and first down, they they take a shot and they hit it. After we've gone over that over and over and over and over. But, I mean, we live and learn. Coach, how does it feel that your team you know, set record numbers here at UCLA? I want to set record numbers of winning. I, I do. I, 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 I admire... Um, the fans and they came out and, and, and did a wonderful job in, in, in packing the stadium and, and selling out the state. What is it, our eight consecutive sellout? Yes, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm ecstatic about that, but I would love to be on the winning end of those sellouts. I really, truly would. That would be phenomenal for me. What was the message at halftime tonight? It seemed like you guys went in there. It was, it was rough. It was rough. I don't recall everything I said, but it, it was rough. What was the theme? Now. No. Yes, sir. You were saying yesterday in some of the videos um, that you guys posted that how special it was to be at the Yeah, Rose yeah, it was. Bowl. I mean, it was. never had the chance to play here as a, as a player. Um, despite the loss, I mean, what did it mean to be able to be oh, in this building tonight? You got to understand. I mean, to to understand this is the, the – they always say the granddaddy of them all and, and to see the iconic games that has been played here and not to be able to play in it as in my whole entire career, but to come back and coach in it. And you got to think about, see, when, when we walked Coach Hart, um, Coach Mathis, as uh, in uh, Mr. Calhoun, who, who runs our operations, we was just coaching youth football several years ago. And we in the darn Rose Bowl, and you want me to question how good my God is? Have you lost your mind? I'm serious, like seven years ago, us. Coach Hart was running the defense because Badger was running the defense. I was coaching the offense because Calhoun was running the operations. Same thing we were doing with youth when we took seven busloads of kids to the Hall of Fame. So we we, we always take a picture in these type of uh, stadiums, and, and we just think about, wow, like this is unbelievable. Do you have to remind yourself to take in those moments? Yeah, I do. I don't have to remind myself. It comes natural. It's a blessing. It truly is. So that's why it's hard to knock me off my horse because I always think about the goodness of God and how good he's been. Yes, ma'am. It's not often that a head coach will sit up here after a loss and volunteer to take more questions. Yeah. So thank you for that. My question, though, it seems like you found the balance so far this season. Can you provide some insight into how you walk that line between father and coach when you see Shiloh being ejected? Yeah. Right. Well, it's easy to walk that line when I've always walked that line. And I said several weeks ago, I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. I've been doing this. I've coached my kids their entire life. They they only really know me as a coach. Shador has never had another football coach in his life. Shiloh did because he went to the University of South Carolina. But I've raised them and coached them their whole life. So it's easy for me to switch hats instantaneously, but to understand who they are as an athlete as well. And I don't baby them, I don't sugarcoat nothing, I tell them 100, and I treat them as such. Um, unless I'm hugging them or kissing them on the jaw, you would never know which one of these kids are my sons. Coach, you've talked a lot about players that like the game versus players that love the game. Yes, you've sir. You've talked about you know, engaging the locker room's level of belief. Yes, sir. How together would you say to you right now? We had our best week of practice, man. We had the best Friday workout we've ever had, and uh, we came out ready and prepared. It was not because of a lack of preparation, of a lack of want and need. We just made some key mistakes at some key times. Um, and we're um, seven to ten players away of really doing what we want to do in college football. Anything else for Coach? We talked a little earlier this year about the Chris coordinator Chris. quarterback. Yeah. How far along in the process do you think Sean Lewis and Shakur are? <laughs> what have you thought about Sean's performance so far? You can't put me on the spot like that. I think the coaches are doing a, a pretty good job. Thank you. That was a great try. <laughs> Valued effort. You you got to understand. I I've sat in your seat for like 17, 18 years. <laughs> so I gotta know when it's coming. Coach yes. Uh, no, I mean I tell I do tell them who I want in the game and when I want it now. And I don't discriminate for that. Last one. Coach, did you anticipate maybe going through a tough time like you're going through right now? I'm not going through a tough time. What makes you think I'm going through? What about me look like it's a tough time? Let me sit up. I know you're used to winning. This look like a tough time to y'all. 
No, no, no. I would love to win. I'm, I'm accustomed to winning, and we will win. We will win. Just put your seatbelt on and hold on. We will win. If you 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 got to see what could possibly happen um, with with the team that we have. I mean, shoot, we really only got our butts kicked once, and that was in Oregon. We got our butts kicked. It wasn't no winning that. Anything, all the other games, you could see how we could have won those games. We we could have done that. So that's that that's called hope in our book, and I'm I'm thankful and happy for that. Um, I appreciate you all. Um, God bless you. I want you to have a safe trip home wherever you're going, wherever you're headed. And uh, let's wake up and smile tomorrow and bless the one. Thank you. God bless.